Hey guys, welcome back to the penetration testing bootcamp. In the previous video, we took a look at, at information gathering as a whole. Uh, now we're going to be taking a look at the uh, passive information gathering techniques and the tools that we'll be using in this particular course or this particular section of the course. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at the techniques. Now I've created a mind map uh, right over here that I will be posting on hackersploit.org with, uh, with, uh, with the documentation of the course. Uh, by the way, the documentation of the all of the previous videos is already up there. So if you want a structured overview of, of what we'll be looking at, you can actually check that out there. Um, so starting off with search engine reconnaissance or information gathering, this will involve, you know, using things like Google hacking or the Google hacking database to find vulnerabilities, to find, um, you know, administrator, uh, administration consoles, uh, you know, for various websites. Uh, for your target you then have a, a search engine like shodan which can give us very very in important information about hosts about the target network etc and then we have social network recon so this is uh, more tied into the employee data so you you'll, you'll be typically using a few frameworks to uh, extract useful information uh, from facebook twitter and linkedin we then have who is information so this will again give us information about various domains and their registrant information or the registrar information uh, we then have foot, website footprinting. So again, this is very different from web technologies footprinting. Uh, website footprinting essentially is dealing with the actual uh, code. So uh, we'll be taking a look at code review. Uh, so uh, this will involve using using tools like HTT Rack, um, archive.org to get older versions of web pages. And then we can also use various uh, proxies uh, to actually uh, to actually probe or to inspect the requests. Uh, that are being sent to the web server. So that can give us an idea of what we're dealing with. We then have web technologies footprinting. So that will involve, you know, finding out various uh, various bits of information about the uh, the various web technologies that are being used. So again, are you using, a, are, are they, is your target using a CMS? Uh, what uh, framework, development framework are they using? And again, we can, we can do this by using WhatWeb and built with either on Firefox or the actual service that they provide. We then have uh, domain and subdomain reconnaissance, and this again will we will be using our sublister because it's an OSINT uh, tool, or it actually uses passive inform uh, it uses uh, publicly available information. Uh, we then have cloud recon, so this is going to uh, is going to deal particularly with uh, AWS, and we'll be using the S3 scanner, and then we have a metadata which is going to deal with image and document mated, uh, metadata. And again, we'll be using MetaGoofil as our primary tool. So uh, the frameworks and tools that we'll be using are, first of all, ReconNG. That's pretty much a standard for reconnaissance. Uh, we then have Maltigo, which is a great tool that allows us to build a scope or to get an overview of what we're dealing with. We then have Sublist, as I mentioned, for subdomains. Uh, we then have the harvester. This will allow us to enumerate uh, emails from publicly available information through search engines. We then have the open source recon framework, another great uh, framework for open source uh, intelligence reconnaissance. Uh, we then have Netcraft. So Netcraft gives us information, uh, tons of information about our target, uh, the domain, the web technologies being used, etc. We then have Shodan, which is a great search engine that you know gives us a ton of information, a ton of useful information about our target. Then we have MetaGoofil, uh, which is going to give us metadata uh, from our documents. And then we have the Fokker framework here. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at all of these techniques with the inclusion of all of these tools. And now that we have an understanding of what we'll, be, uh, we'll actually be, be using and the techniques that we'll be using to gather passive information or to perform passive information gathering, we can actually get started. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we'll get started with our first step uh, using search engine reconnaissance, and then we can move on from there.